I've summoned a green mountain over 700 times. It's been a focal point for me as a runner. It's given my life structure. It's pretty easy to wake up in the morning and make some coffee and head out the front door and go up the hill. It's taught me how to be patient and really examine the details, learn the different trails, learn kind of the nooks and crannies of the mountain. Green Mountain provides a sense of adventure out the back door. You know, it's a chance to get lost close to home, test myself against the technical challenges of the terrain, and really just enjoy moving out in a beautiful landscape. Obviously, you know, the more times that you're spending up there in the different seasons and times of day, you start to learn it pretty well. Uh, there's an art of repetition in learning a place intimately. The variety and the challenge is what keeps it interesting for me. That's like why I keep doing it. When I walk into my favorite cafe, I see friends, familiar faces. When I go up Green Mountain, I, I have a similar experience. You know, it sort of taps into the rituals of sharing a cup, following in the footsteps of the community. What is it, rain uh, amphitheater? Yeah. And, yeah. It's just under 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. No, I, th I think 45 rounds. Sub 30 up and then sub 15 down. Sub 15 down? Summit to car? Yep. going up Green Mountain. I think everybody should go up Green Mountain. Green Mountain is notoriously steep, rugged, and technical. Sort of no matter which way you go up the mountain, you're going to have some, some challenges that are going to test you. Yeah, it's the perfect run. It's just difficult enough, just adventurous enough to where you feel like you're really getting yourself into something. But also, it's close to home. 